Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 199 of Photo Critiques. And in this episode, I'm pleased to critique the work of Joseph Frediani. Joseph sent me in some family shots and let's see uh, how he did. This first one's a nice shot, very cute. Um, I like that you got the young guy in there with the ice skates on so you get an idea, you know, what, where he is and what's going on. I mean, my first reaction is you shoot kind of a head and shoulder shot, but it's nice. You got the ice skates in so we know. Now, a couple things. You're using a point and shoot, so you're kind of a little limited. But when the angle you took now is cute, but you see these shadows that we have now over here? You got to be aware of the background and how close it is to the people that, are, you know, you're shooting. So you could position yourself in such a way so the shadow gets hidden by them. So in this case, I think if you swung a little bit more to your left and you shot a little bit higher, although I always encourage people to get lower and shoot, you know, with the DSLR, this would have been fine. But because you have the point and shoot and we're casting the shadow back here and the shadow here, I think if you got up just a little bit and shot slightly down, the shadows would have been cast back this way and it wouldn't have been as readily apparent. Uh, it would have been behind them and falling into this window and you wouldn't have seen them. So you got to remember that um, when you shoot uh, you know where the shadow is going to be from your flashes or you know if you're using you know different lights uh, how, how the um, the background how close it is to the subject the shadow is going to be more prominent and what you got to do to uh, hide the shadow. It's a very cute shot. No, um, very well done. It was, you know, obviously a, a warm summer day, so the light's kind of harsh. And you did a nice job of getting everyone illuminated right, and a nice shot. The shot too, I like it that you have everyone walking into the bigger part of the frame, and you left enough of the picture there so we could see that they're golfing. You know where they are. I mean, obviously they got golf clothes, but you get an idea because you got the whole, you know, uh, you know, uh, frame with the, the green and the sand traps and everything. Now one thing, the, the sky is just nothing there, you know. So you might want it to point your camera down, get a little lower, and get a different angle where you're kind of trying to eliminate this part of the image because it's really not adding anything to the shot. This is a nice shot, again, really harsh light. But one thing you got to be aware of when you're taking these type of shots, I know this is your subject right here, but you're cutting off this guy's head right here so that doesn't look right so when the referee's head is cut off that that's not good so you want to back up you want to get a different angle you want to try to get a different angle when he's not in the shot um, whatever you gotta do so you're not cutting people off at the neck this is a nice shot uh, you know this is a little blurry you can see his eyes we always want the eyes in perfect focus this is 1 20th of a second this was a DSLR here so we really gotta get that focus tight on the eyes this looks like it's not so much, uh, it's a little bit of focus, but it's a little camera movement too. So we really have to get tight on those eyes. This is a nice shot, perfect action shot. We have enough motion right in here to show that he just hit the ball. This one's in really good focus. You can see his eyes are in, in nice focus here. It's a really nice shot. Again though, in the background, be careful of the background. See how we got the people cut off at the neck. So in this one maybe you could zoomed in a little more, uh, you know, and just you know got the uh, home plate and uh, the young guy hitting the ball and you know try to get it so this guy here isn't getting cut off at the neck either or anything like that. It's a nice shot. Now this is the tip the one that I mentioned before in the you know how warm summer day and the sun straight up above it just gives you some harsh shadows so it's a tough a tough uh, thing to shoot in it's really hard. This is a nice shot. Now this is, you know, overcast day or he's in the shade, but it's a nice shot. Uh, a lot of times now if you were taking this for the team, photographs for the team, we'd like to splash a little more light in his face. A little, it's a dark background. He's got dark hair, so he's kind of blending into the background. Um, we'd like to pull him away from this, this background a little bit, so this is further away. Then when you were uh, using that wide open aperture f4.5, this would drop um, into more of a blur and he'd pop out more from the background. He wouldn't be so blended in. That's why professional photographers, they use fast glass, we call it. So, you know, they'd use, a, you know, a, you know, a, I don't know, 24 to 70 f2.8 or even a 70 to 200 um, f2.8, pull him further away from the, the background and then they maybe even 
zoom all the way into 200 and stand really far away from them, but it would really make this background um, blur out shooting at 2.8. So that's something you still could do with this lens. You just got to pull them away uh, from this background more and maybe zoom in even more. Uh, so stand further away and shoot at 200 or 300 even and you'd get this background nice and blur and he'd pop out. You just got to be really careful though because you're going to have um, very uh, little room for error so you have to make sure you're really tightly focused on his eyes. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's the last one. Joseph, thank you for sharing your work with us. I really do appreciate it. Thanks everyone for watching all my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.